This is how to play Blitz Greg Bop by the Ramones. Uh, this also has the familiar hey ho let's go in the chorus and uh, this is a really easy three chord song but it's super fast. This is fantastic for anyone wanting to get their head around power chords and perhaps learn your first punk song. Um, let's have a close up on these chords and show you what we're going for. So the three chords that make up the vast majority of this song are an A5, otherwise known as an A power chord, where we just play the thicker two, or I would choose to play the thickest three strings, and then the two other chords are a D5, or a D power chord, with the root note on string five, and then this same chord played two frets higher, seventh fret, string five, where again we just play the two strings. Now we have a few options with power chords, whether we play two strings or three strings, but the reason I'm choosing to show you this method is so that we can change between a root six and a root five power chord really, really easily. And the method is that we're going to use the first, third and little finger on the A power chord, on the A5, uh, the first finger playing fret five of string six, the middle finger's not down at all, but it is as close to the shape of the other fingers as possible, kind of like this. Third finger, seventh fret, fifth string, and then the little finger directly underneath it. In fact, we really want to try and squash them directly underneath like this. This can be tricky if you've got larger fingers, but stay with me. This is the method that we're going to be doing. When we change between the A5 and the D5, the easiest method I've found to teach this to beginners is to try not to move your little finger at all. Lift off the first finger and move it down a string and lift off the third finger. Now this becomes the D power chord because the root note is the D. The D note here at fifth fret on string five. We're not playing string six so it's best when we use this method to place the first finger just touching the underside of string six which mutes it and takes it out and means that we can be a little bit less accurate with the uh, with the strumming hand because you may see videos of the Ramones and any punk guitarist or rock guitarist just kind of strumming all the strings at all times. It's this muting with the left hand, with the chord hand, that allows us to be able to do that. So, so important. So to recap, for any root six power chord, I would choose to play it with three fingers, one, two, and three. And then for any root five power chord, we just move the first finger down, but have it touching string six. And then we lift off the third finger, but the little finger can stay in place. And then we can change. Between the two really easily. And we can even always strum the same strings, always strum the thicker three strings at all times because of that muting with the first finger. We can take that muting even further and mute the thinnest three strings all the time just by lightly pressing down with that first finger. So that first finger, when it's on a, uh, a root five power chord, would be muting string six and the thinnest three strings. And that's how we can change this fast. You can choose to always play three note power chords. Or even just two note power chords. But then we've always got this jump that we've got to do and that does make it much tougher. If you can do that, fantastic, then you're, you're not a beginner if you can do that kind of thing. But if you're struggling with this, that's the best way I know to change between power chords and you'll find more tips like this. And if you like this lesson, check out my electric guitar starter course, which is available on DVD, but also as a download. The link is just here. It's from my website. Check that out if this lesson is something that you, uh, that you enjoy. Strumming wise, let's just cover it with down strums first of all, because this riff is 95% of this song. One and two and three and four and D to E. One and two and three and four and D to E. So we're strumming just the thicker three strings and we're strumming it eight, and we're strumming those eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But this isn't a dance class. We don't count to eight in music. We count one and two and three and four because we have an on beat and an off beat. So one and two and three and four and. 
straight to the D5, D, a slight pause there, so relax our fingers and move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, strum, and then relax, slide to the E power chord, and then up, down, up, down. One and two and three and four and down, up, down. One and two and three. Again, that first finger muting the thinnest three strings is how it looks like I'm being really inaccurate with my right hand and just focusing more on the rhythm rather than the strings that I'm hitting. That's how that's done with that muting of the first finger. I think it's important to note that we could do that exact same riff with open chords if you're not aware of this. So if we did that, we could just go A and T and D and four and. But you can hear that, especially with the overdrive on my guitar that, that's through the amplifier, um, the sound is very different and the way that playing five or six strings reacts with the overdrive isn't always pleasant and it sounds heavier, kind of more direct and better if we just play the power chord versions, which are called um, A5, D5 and E5, rather than the open chord versions, which would just be A major, D major and E major. You really want to be picking that different sound up by ear um, and that way you'll be able to learn songs such as this and any other rock songs so much quicker when you can hear that sound in straight away and notice that it's a power chord just by the sound of it. So that would repeat three times. One and two and three and four and D and E. One and two and three and four and D and E. Last time. Then one and two and D and four and bar of A. So that was one and two and on the A to the D. Three and four and back to the A. And that would take us through the intro and the verses. The chorus begins on the D chord. A, O, let's go. Uh, that's two bars. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and on the D. Then to the A. One and two and three and four and D and A. One more time. Two, three, four, D, T. Very similar uh, for the next line. D and T and D and A fourth chord, the search for the fourth chord, punk guitarist finally found it, and it is a B5. So we're down at second fret here. Second fret, and then the little finger in that same power chord position. It's at fourth fret of the fourth string. And ready to go. That is B, T, B, 4, D. And the E. Chorus in total, one more time, and then I'm going to demo how we can play this up to speed faster because it's kind of a different technique that we're going to use with the strumming to do this at full speed. Uh, chorus from the top, from the D chord. One, two, three, four. Hey, let's go. how to play the whole song but you may find that strumming one and two and three and four with down strums is a little bit too much for you at this time what can be easier and what you can choose to do at any point is do the same strumming just with downs and ups one and two and three and four and rather than one and two and three and four and it should sound pretty much the same if you do it correctly and it's much easier to do at the breakneck speed that this song is at. Um, often punk guitarists do choose to use down strums like that because it does have a slightly more aggressive sound and it always will. But if you find that you're getting some pain in your wrist, you want to, uh, you know, or in your arm, you want to relax, keep the motions as small as possible, and perhaps choose to use downs and ups, which would look like this. One and two 
That is how to play Blitzkrieg Pop. Thank you so much for watching. Do check out my electric guitar starter course. There's a free version of it here on YouTube. But to get all the play along backing tracks and the rest of the lessons, there's just a, a few preview lessons here on YouTube, you'll have to get the download or the DVD from my website, andyguitar.co.uk. And I hope to see you in another lesson.